Hello, my name's Craig Mill, and I'd just like to talk a bit about word prediction and look at some free tools that might help to support uh, learners with spelling difficulties. So if you're unfamiliar with word prediction, I've written a guide here. This is on the call site, so it's callscotland.org, downloads and books. And when you get to the site, uh, you'll find a guide to word prediction. It's a free guide that you can download. There's a quick overview there. Uh, of the guide and then you can just download it. So um, essentially word prediction works when you press the first or second key on a keyboard and offers a list of words to choose from. Something similar to predictive text on a phone but I should say that prediction. word prediction has been around for much much longer than predictive text and so it's much more sophi okay. sophisticated awesome. and much more accurate. Have so the first one I'm going to look at is the free one that's available, or, or I should say comes with Windows 10, and that's called Show Text Suggestions as I Type. So let's just click down here in the bottom in the Windows bar, and I'm going to type in Show Text Suggestions, and there it appears there. Show to Text Suggestions as I Type, and this is the one I want to, to bring up. So. Um, here we have some options for making sure that you've got uh, or to correct on from misspelled words, those sorts of things. But what we want to look at is this one here, is, is typing. Now, if you maybe have a, a tablet device and you have a software keyboard, that's like an on-screen keyboard, you could turn that on. But the one we want just now is show text suggestions on the hardware keyboard. So that's what we're looking for. So I'm going to turn on show text suggestions as I type. And now if I, I'll just minimize that for just now. So now if I just, uh, when I type, when now you can see what's happening now is that I'm getting some, some possible words. So let's see whenever, okay, and we have to put the space in and it's prompting me for a next word prediction, which is quite good. Now you can uh, get, uh, or whenever you can go, please, now the other way you can do it is that you can use the keyboard, just the arrow keys on the keyboard to go up and then press the enter key to put the word in, space bar to go along. And you can see, so now it's actually doing it sort of automatically for me and it's quite good. It's quite small to see, that's one thing. There's no way of magnifying it unless you use the magnification tools on Windows. And it doesn't have any text to speech in there so I can't ho hover over and hear it read aloud. But for some learners, it might be quite useful. So that's um, show text suggestions as I as I uh, type, and I'll just bring that here. It is here. Okay, so that's just there on there. So I'll just quickly show how to get there. So just down in the bottom, show text suggestions as I type, and it's actually come up there on the hardware keyboard. So we can just go in there, and there it is, and turn it off now. The thing about show text suggestions as I type, it's not just Word that it'll work in, it'll work in a range of applications. So if you're working on Word Online or PowerPoint or email, wherever there's a text or a word processor, um, show text suggestions as a type will appear and you can use it. It's not great, but it might be quite useful. Now another option that might be quite good, and this works from the browser, so if you have pupils who are maybe using Glow or Word Online, that type of thing, this might, might, might be quite good. So I'm just going to bring up my Safari browser, and this one's called, it's the Claro Read Chrome extension. Uh, here's the website here, uh, so I'll pop that into the uh, video, Claro Read Chrome. And essentially it's just an extension that will work either in Edge, Microsoft Edge browser or the Chrome browser. And uh, here you can see, here it is here. So you can use Chrome extensions either on the Edge browser or uh, initially as, as in Chrome. And if I just go to the call website, this is how it appears. So up here, just this sort of speech bubble with looks like a star in it, it's Cloud Read Chrome. And when you um, start it, you get this little drop down menu, and this is where you can have all sorts of options. So it's got really good options, such as it will speak um, echo words or sentences as you type, which is quite good, or you can select some text and it will play it back. But it also has this option here for prediction. So we're going to look at word prediction and word online, and it has some extras as well, such as a, a coloured overlay, which is quite good. 
and there's lots of um, options you can do different colors you can choose to make that customize it for different learners needs so that might be quite useful as well so this is a free option there are other uh, extras when you pay for the paid version but I think for the free options actually actually quite good so I've got that all set up I've got phonetic prediction for flexible spelling so if you spell words like elephant telephone those sorts of things with an F then it should recognize that so I'm just going to close that off I'm going to go to my Word document and here it is here. OK, so it's ready to go. So let's just magnify that up a bit so you can see it better. And let's type in my. my. OK, and it's actually speaking as, as we're doing. And I can hover over. And what normally would happen is it would speak back. So it's not doing my. that just now. So I'm going to go back into my settings and I'm going to set um, maybe this one here, speak under mouse. OK, so speak under mouse and that's good. So I've got that set up. Let's go back. And now, hopefully, let's just see my favorite. OK, and it's come up third in the list. Favorite. Favorite. There it's speaking. Favorite. And I want to see food. Of course, it's got underlined because I've got a, a US dictionary, so I should have really changed that. Uh, my my favourite, favourite yeah. food. Uh, let's just go for that. Try again. And notice as well, um, food's down there on the list, but it also has a has picture support. So you can see the word, you can see a picture representation food. of the word, and you can food. also hear the word as well. So let's my favourite food. Food. Food is. is. Okay. And let's just pop that in. Pizza. There it is, and there's a picture. Have it Pizza. Out. Pizza. There it is. Pizza. And put my full stop in. So as it's, let's go back one. So as I'm my typing, my favourite food is pizza. And there it's reading it out. So we're getting text to speech uh, with the sentence and with individual words. So that's uh, two options for for um, word prediction that might be useful for for learners. Mm -hmm.